everyone okay so um so as you know maybe i just made a video about the hippocrini series of books and in that video i mentioned the teach yourself books and i kind of compared them a little bit and i decided that since this is one of my other favorites um i want to give a more detailed review of them since i've seen a lot of people lately doing videos about these and since I'm waiting for my other video to upload I just thought I would do that because in the last video I kind of just talked about the negative things about these books because I was comparing why I like the um, Hippocrini ones more so I, I do like these books so I want to talk about them and I'll talk about the positive and negative and first of all, I can't really pretend to know a lot about these books since I only have two of them. But I've looked through other ones in like the bookstore and they they have they all have some similarities. So I'll talk about the ones that I have because I have similar problems with both of them and I like similar things about both of them also. So First, I'll talk about what's good about them. Um, well, first of all, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. It could be both, I guess. But um, they're not all the same at all. As you can see, this one is Arabic. This one is Icelandic. Um, they're obviously much different sizes and personally i like this arabic one better um so i'll talk about that one first so in this one i actually like this one it's um what it has is it has um let's see how many chapters it's about 17 chapters 17 chapters and each one has about two two dialogues i think and they don't really have a translation next to it but it has a vocabulary list which i think is just as good and in the back of the book they do have translations which is very good of all the dialogues and then they have grammar explanations that help you understand um, understand the dialogues and they're not too complicated and, and I think they have a little bit more detail in the back they have the charts verb charts and things like that <coughs> and the answers to the exercises and it has like a lot of cultural notes and things and I like that it has um the exercises, I usually kind of ignore the exercises a little bit, but I like, they're kind of interesting. Like it gives you signs and things like this, like signs to read and like, they're kind of creative exercises. Um, and they give you just enough grammar to understand like basic things you will need so once you go through this book you'll be able to communicate at a decent level um, and and that's what I really like about these books they're good just a good starter book you know but this one um, I like this one too it's kind of it's similar it has uh, a little bit it tends to have like more dialogues um, they're a little bit shorter, and this one's sort of more like kind of a phrase book in a way. The Arabic one's a little bit more well-rounded in my opinion. Um, this one just teaches you like how to tell time and how to, it, it's sort of like it seems like it's made for people who are, who want to travel to Iceland. But it doesn't, I mean, it still gives you a lot of good vocabulary, you know? It's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, yeah, this one is much shorter, but it still gives you d 
decent vocabulary. And I don't, I'm not quite sure if this one has translations. This one doesn't seem to... I don't think it gives you translations of the dialogues, but it has a vocab list. So I think most of the time you, you could figure it out. Um, yeah, so now I'll talk about what I don't like. Um, um, okay, the main problem I have, and I talked about this in the last video, is they, they use so much English on the audio. It's like, for example, before each dialogue, there's an introduction that tells you what the, the, the dialogue is going to be about. And, I mean, it's fine that they write that, you know, so you can read it, but it's on the audio, and that's very annoying because if you listen to the audio, you're, the point of that is to listen to the dialogues over and over and over and just keep pushing back, you know, for each dialogue. They should have, like, a separate track for each dialogue without the English, and people have to, like, go in an audio editing program and do that themselves, which is a lot of work because there's about... Um, there's more than more than 30 dialogues in here, and you have to find them the, among all the English, you know. So that's very annoying, and it doesn't just it doesn't just like read the introduction. She reads literally every single thing that's in the book. I mean, not all of the book is on the tape, but all the in the parts where they have like this part with like earphones right here, the headphones, and those are the parts that are on the tape and on the CD and the only thing that's really not on the CD is is uh, the grammar and um, even the exercises are on the tape sometimes so not all of them but there's a lot of them like this one this chapter has like 15 exercises um yeah but I don't know if I said this but on um, the parts with the the headphones she reads the introduction and and the like after the introduction there's questions they say like when you're reading it or listening to the dialogue think about these things and ask yourself these questions and uh, think about like this one says Michael is or that's an exercise Come on. on it says after class some of the students want to arrange a meetup uh, they exchange telephone numbers, um, and then it says, answer the questions. What is this person's phone number? What is this person's phone number? How do you say this in Arabic? And she reads that before the dialogue, and it's like, why? I don't see why that needs to be on the tape, but anyway. So, but really, other than that, I don't have any major problems with these books, right? If there are any problems, they're minor. and. They're kind of randomly organized, and it's kind of hard to follow at first. But if you if you ignore all the extra distracting things that are in here, it, if you just look at the dialogues and the and the and the um the vocab list and the grammar explanations and the glossary in the back, it's very very useful, and you learn a lot of good basic vocabulary. And um and there's all there's I mean. There's kind of a lot, so even when you've been learning for a while, if there's something basic that you've missed, then you can go back. I think Steve Kaufman talked about that in his video about the Teach Yourself books, and he's right. Like even if you've been learning a language for years, you can go back to these, and there's you'll be surprised how much basic things you've missed, and these are really good for that. And and if you ignore all the English on the audio, the audio is actually really good. The dialogues are really good. And when I start learning languages, I'm always going to buy these books. So if you can get over all the English on the, on the audio, then, then it's really, really good. They're a really good series from what I've read so far. And the grammar explanations are easy. and. Yeah, I'm running out of time. So basically, these are good books. I just wanted to talk about it in more detail. So thanks. Let me know what you